Hello there guys, it's Matmus here with you, I hope you're having a fantastic day. So once again, we are not going to be doing a gaming video today, we're going to be discussing a little bit more about tanks, and in particular, the Leopard 2. Now, the Leopard 2 has had transitions from its old Leopard 1 to Leopard 2, A4s, A5s, A6s, and so on and so forth. Various different upgrade packages, different things been added, different things been removed, new capabilities, whether it be modular packages or, you know, um different armor, different equipment that can be placed onto the vehicle. Um, and this isn't new to us. We know this isn't, uh, you know, new stuff's getting pulled out for them all the time. Um, Rhine Metal is also pulling out, uh, you know, its new modular package, which is basically what we're going to talk about a little bit right now. Now, the Rhine Metal, um, basically it's called the MBT Advanced Technology Demonstrator. It's basically deployed for all kinds of missions, um, mainly designed for superior firepower protection mobility and such. Um, and it's also to fulfill its tasks in most scenarios in modern warfare. Uh, the high intensity conflict sort of thing, peacekeeping missions, counterinsurgency, terrorism, uh, pretty much all climate conditions and is capable of full night fighting as well, which is pretty cool. Um, the MBT Advanced Technology Demonstrator is actually based and maintained and repaired uh, to a standard that's the pre-owned MBT Leopard 2A4 um, and it consists of partly different unchangeable configurations um, with an additional integrated upgrade and enhancement package. So basically what that means is we can chuck a load of new stuff on there real cheap um, and it's not really going to cause too much of an issue. Now the Rhine Metal company um, pretty much is given a package that encompasses this kind of thing. So comprehensive upgrade for the main battle tanks uh, is flexible in concept. The MBT Leopard RA modular upgrade package significantly enhances current capabilities ensuring that tanks remain a match for current operational scenarios while simultaneously assuring future growth potential throughout their service life. So as I said before, they're basically going to throw a few extra packages on there and try and extend its life for another 20 years or so. We all love the Leopard 2. I do personally. I think it's an absolutely fantastic tank. Definitely keeps uh, the Challenger 2 on its toes, if not better. I mean, I'm British and I don't want to say that, but it is one hell of a tank. Um, it has comprehensive ballistic protection in this package. Basically means we can slap on a whole new modular set of armor on the side of this thing. Um, and it's basically going to give us a different capability in various types of scenarios, whether it be built up areas and such, taking on RPGs and all that good stuff. Um, completely electrical weapon and turret stabilization and drive system. So basically what that means is we can put CWS common weapon system on top of the vehicle, uh, whether it be a 50 cal or you know a MG34, whatever capability that the country at the time is using for their uh, fire suppression system at the top there. So that's really cool, being able to utilize the in-vehicle uh, turret system, very similar to the M1A2 SEP model. Um, obviously they're trying to keep the crew members as safe as possible. Being able to use remote access weapon stations is really, really handy to have. Um, and obviously they're also improving on uh, the turret stabilization. How they're doing that, I unfortunately do not know. But uh, apparently this new Rhine Metal package, uh, the MBT ATT, uh, is going to do so. It also allows for the 120mm programmable HE ammunition. Again, not too sure exactly what that entails. Um, very interesting to find out your opinion on that if anyone knows. Uh, it also is apparently encompassing an effective cooling system for the crew compartment, so uh, an effective um, air conditioning unit which would be really nice to have. And uh, an auxiliary power unit as well, a powerful 16kW uh, APU going to be really handy for powering uh, you know the vehicle when it's shut down um, a night enhancement for the driver which again is also very very important and a rear sight enhancement for the driver now the leopard 2 normally did have that anyway from what i remember it did have a small camera at the back that can reverse and such um, it also has apparently an upgraded smoke discharger system which is going to be interesting it has 360 degree smoke discharge capability um, i have been informed also that the vehicle has cameras posted at all four corners of the vehicle which is again very handy in being able to you know monitor all directions while still being safe crewable inside the vehicle is very very handy to have not relying on those periscopes all the time pretty pretty cool uh, these simple little packages like this really do help um you know they're, they're not massive upgrades we're not talking about changing the engine changing the entire gun system changing the chassis we're basically able to smack things on and make it work even better and i think that's now how militaries are starting to transition to keeping their vehicles up to date with the modern battlefield is being able to put these packages on there and hopefully that will keep their vehicle up to date with the times. It's all about money at the end of the day guys, we want to try and keep that cost down. So here's Ryan Metal's video on the exact kind of setup that the vehicle is going to look like. I must admit it looks absolutely beautiful. So take a look at the video and let me think, uh, see what you think.
So I think it's safe to say it looks absolutely amazing. Honestly, it really does. It looks like a very comprehensive upgrade for a vehicle like this. We're not talking about, you know, a low-key old tank. This tank is, you know, a main battle tank used by modern militaries today that is still being utilized at a frontal combat main battle tank. So we're not talking about an older vehicle like the M60 in my past video. This vehicle is still serving pretty strong today in uh, most heavy duty militaries. And it's really, really cool to see a heavy modular package like this being put onto the uh, the chassis of this tank. Now I'm a massive fan of my Leopard 2s, not as much as my Challenger 2s, obviously. But just looking at this thing, the way it's been put together and this modular system they're doing now, it just looks absolutely amazing. You can see some of the uh, new smoke discharges noted there. Obviously the picture's going so damn fast, you can't keep up. But uh, you can see the smoke discharges, the cameras they've got going on, the new armor package they're placing on. Everything is quick on and off, which is I think now the way militaries are going. It's really impressive. Um, I will be doing a video in the near future on the Russian capabilities and the kind of upgrades they're doing, the new tanks they have, the new T-14 Armata. A very impressive tank. I have my own opinions on it, but we'll discuss that another time. But uh, it is really nice to see this tank actually getting an upgrade with all of its new bits and pieces. For the most part, this is mainly a armor upgrade. Let's be honest, it's going to put a few extra electronic devices on there. No main engine change, no suspension change, no real armament change. But it is going to give the commander and his crew some features that I really think are going to get, help set him apart on the battlefield. Going to make his life a lot more comfortable, a lot more safer for his crew to operate with that, uh, you know, adaptable common weapon system that he can utilize whilst in. So the vehicle is going to give some help. The cameras as well, and obviously the ar armor package being modular is going to make a lot of difference. So anyway guys, I'd really like to take your opinion on this. Have a think about it. I mean, this isn't new. This isn't new stuff. It's something that's been around for a while. They've been releasing bits and pieces here and there. But I'd really, really like to get your opinion on it and see what you think of the new Leopard 2, uh, I guess not new Leopard 2, but the new uh, Leopard 2 upgrade package from Rheinmel. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, share and subscribe and take care. Bye bye.